Good morning, everybody. My name is Steve Wright. I'm the Director of Horticulture and Curator here at Jenkins Arboretum and Gardens. The sunny weather that we've been having has allowed many of the woodland wildflowers to start popping through the leaf litter. Many of the ephemeral wildflowers are actually in full bloom right now, uh, and many others, like the trilliums, have started popping up, and we're starting to be able to tell which ones they are. In the coming days, we'll talk more about those flowers, but what I'd like to focus on today are actually the early blooming rhododendrons in the garden. And there are four different types of rhododendrons. There are evergreen azaleas, deciduous azaleas, large leaf rhododendrons like this one here. This is actually rhododendron pseudochrysanthemum and the small leaf rhododendrons. And the small leaf rhododendrons are actually the star of the show at this point in the garden. So why don't we go and take a look at some more. So when most people think about rhododendrons, they immediately picture those large leaf rhododendrons like pseudochrysanthemum that we just looked at. I'm sitting here next to a plant called Red Quest. This is actually a rhododendron also. It's a small leaf rhododendron. Um, and you can see that the leaves are small and that makes it really easy to identify. But really, these are called lepidote rhododendrons. The large leaves are elepidote rhododendrons. And the main difference, aside from the leaves, the shape of the leaves, is that on the back side of lepidote rhododendrons, there are scales. So Technically, these are the scaly-leafed rhododendrons. You don't normally see them with your naked eye, but there are little tiny scales that cover up the stomata that help these kind of rhododendrons regulate um, moisture and gas exchange. So thank you for joining me on this tour of our Lepidote rhododendron collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I frequently say that the flowers speak for themselves, so we are going to take many pictures for you and share them on this video, and I hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time.